Six men who rode the Arizona Territory. Ride on, ride on, ride on. Twenty-six men, carefully chosen for their courage and ability, formed the Arizona Rangers. Fame and public acclaim was not their objective. This is perhaps why the story of these twenty-six men has never been told until now. Well, it went slick as a trout. Now we'll move south. Why'd you shoot that last fellow, Walt? Just a warning. Anybody afraid to kill a man shouldn't be in this business. Won't they look harder for you, Walt? This territory is bigger than Ohio, Indiana, and Kentucky combined. Just plain looking will do them no good. How about that new law outfit? You know how many there is? Twenty-six. Twenty-six men when they need twenty-six hundred. Well, we're on our way. Plenty of petty cash and we'll have a good time in Nogales, just like I promised. Oh, we'll stick to the river. No hurry until we cut back to the main road. Thanks, Corporal. Seems like I get these things in my sleep. Yeah. Just shot him down in cold blood. You uh, know who this Walter Handy is? We got a line on him. Say, Captain, I got a letter from a friend up north that'd like to be a ranger. He's willing to get shot at for $50 a month and furnish his own horse and arms? Well, he's not afraid of a thing. <laughs> we can't use that kind. Well, he'd sure like a chance. And I'd sure like to give him a chance. But the budget will pay for just 26 of us and no more. Well, if there should be an opening, Captain. Don't even mention it. Yes, sir. Two hours sleep couldn't fix. We caught Lopez working at the smelter cook shack. He threw a skillet of hot grease and otherwise resisted arrest. Burned uh, Foster on the leg. What did you do with him? Uh, when he started resisting us, we were forced to resist him. Turned his body over to the sheriff with all personal effects. Here's your reward. Walter Handy. Handy. I've heard that name someplace. Well, I'm going to get plenty of water on the inside and plenty on the outside. You coming over to the barber shop for a bath, Clint? Better see the doctor first. About the handy gang. They'd be certain to head south past the San Xavier Reservation. Probably take that back road through Santa Cruz Canyon. Right. Then cut back to the main trail at the Tumacacari Mission. Show some speed and cross the border around Nogales. This is what we'll do. They can't be very far down yet. So we'll hurry and pick up the Nogales Road north of town. Then head the trail along the Santa Cruz River. What if they take the main road? Actually, that'd be the smart thing to do. But they don't sound smart to me, just nasty. It won't be a chase, then. It'll be more of an interception. Well, up bright and early again in the morning. Sorry, it's bright and early now. 
You stay here, Foster, and get that leg fixed. It's not so bad. No place around here for heroes. A game leg might make the difference Handy needs. Any special instructions? Just take care of that leg. Maybe I'll be lucky and get shot this time. <laughs> a friend. This is no time for romance. Maybe it is. Me? I'd like to ask you a question. You can't prove a thing. I wasn't there. Ever hear of a man named Walter Handy? I don't want my friends to see me talking to the law. Seems I remember a man named Handy killed a girl up in Winslow about three or four years ago. So? Anything you can tell me about him? He's bad. He likes the girls, but he's mean. And the only reason they let him go was because some of the women on the jury thought the girl was better off dead anyway. Mm -hmm. Does he drink? No. Big, little, hair, eyes? No, oh, about like you. You know where he hangs out? Generally somewhere around the border. Thanks, B. In a vast wilderness of stone and sand, two men were on the trail of five. Foolhardy? Of course. But there was no other way. We want Sincioni. Where is Sincioni? Busy. Too busy to make a few dollars? How much? Depends. Fifty cents a day and we'll feed you. Now, cheap. You make one dollar, I feed self. You want to get me fired? Fifty cents. For you, since he had to go. what do I do? Track if we have to. You pay me, even though you know track? Sensioni, if you'd go to work, you'd own this reservation in ten years. I, I, I try. I can hear you. Get away from those horses. Well, lady, we're just doing a little swapping. My husband will take care of you for this. Lady, your husband going to be home tonight? He gets home from the claim at sundown. Well, now you better get back to your house. If you want it there when he gets home tonight. Fire is something a woman can understand. You crazy fool, you touch my gun! Nobody does that! I'm gonna have me a cold shower. Sure, nice and cool, honey. You want to try it? No. Thank you. Well, now, that's what I like in a lady. Modesty. <laughs> hey, what's the matter with you? I don't know, Walt. I'm sick. Uh, you probably drank too much water too fast. Hey, she is sick. I can't make it. It's the water. She'll be all right after a while. Are you crazy? I'm gonna wait here till she gets well. All right, I'll tell you what to do. You and Doc go ahead. Might be better at that. Wait for us at Low Leaders. Let's get her back to that deserted homestead away ways back.
traveling the way I figure, we could run into him any time. Sincioni, want to earn another 50 cents? Walk up to the top of that rise. If you see anyone coming this way, just light a cigarette and mosey along. Lost Indian? No, Lord. Go back to Misha. Yeah? Where's your canteen? Indian no need canteen. Bourgeois. You got any money, Indian? No money. Please, that's for my mother. Don't anybody move. Yeah, that was part of Handy's gang. It won't do any good to ask now. They were sure nervous about something. Come on, Sincioni. Drag the body up to these rocks. That's not my job. Unarmed. Barrel's full of 45. Doesn't make sense. Three men, one woman. Two others go back that way. Probably the two we got. From the looks of the dried blood, I'd say it happened about an hour ago. If it's handy, all right. He's got a woman along. Shooting down an unarmed driver. Others take trail back that way. Reach! Why did you have to kill him? I ought to gun you all down. You've got it wrong, mister. We're the law. We're after the men who did this. You're coming with me. My wife's going to identify you men as horse thieves. Are those your horses? No. If we were who you think we are, we'd leave you on the ground with him, right? Maybe. Let me see your badges. We don't carry them. Who is the dead man? Alberto. Hauls water for me, or did. I got a mine over those hills. You better take care of things. Sorry. Horses are out of sight. Good. Better keep a watch at the door. Got this thing together. How's about a little warm food? No good. Smoke. How you feel, honey? Not so good. Why don't you go on? Well, because I like you. And I promised you a time and no gallus. But I could meet you there later. Yeah, Walt, that's a good idea. She could meet us there later. No, just settle down here a couple of hours. We'll rest a bit and then we'll be on our way. Hey, kiddo? I don't know, Walt. <laughs> They do this. Let's leave the horses here. They can't be very far ahead. Come. Get lost. Funny man. <laughs> ah, no gallus. That's one place a man can really enjoy himself. Some of the girls will be surprised at what I brought along, too. I still think we ought to do what she says. I'd have felt the same way when I was your age. But you got to learn not to worry. The things you worry about never happen anyway. Well, sweetheart, you ready to move? I can't. I can't make it. Well, in a couple of hours, we'll make some coffee and warm up some food. That'll fix you up. She isn't better in a couple of hours. We'll move along anyway. But we'll lose ours. And they're looking for us now. So we both lose ours. Four horses hide behind. Four people inside. 
got them. Here, we shoot place full of holes. You Th sure a woman's around? You betcha. Then we can't shoot them out. Too easy to kill her. Sure, kill them all. Look, Sincioni. She may be no better than she should be, but she's still a woman. Oh, bad Indian, bad squaw. I kill them. White people no different. There was some way to bring them out in the open. We could spare the girl. Maybe burn Hogan down. That's it. Look, Tensioni. Yeah. Go back to that mine and borrow three sticks of dynamite and a burlap sack from Mr. Belden. Fine, fine. Tensioni, he gets ten sticks. Three's plenty. Now scoot. <laughs> Break up some wood and let's get a fire started. If it was for my own mother, I wouldn't be hanging around here. In that case, I wouldn't either, Arch. But she isn't. Still here. They're cooking something. It smells good. Yeah. Yeah. You got a dynamite cap? Yeah. I'll take it. Oh. Where here? Where? Yeah. Get about 10 pounds of sand for me, Tensioni. Phew, 10 pounds. Think three sticks ought to do it? Need to take a chance with any more. Well, looks like nobody's gonna call on us. That's why we ought to get going. I told you in a few hours. You hear that, Maria? You better be feeling like it, because we're gonna travel. I hear you, Walt. <laughs> There's a musician in the crowd. Something about a harmonica always makes me sad. Train whistles do it to me. I'll need a canteen. When I was scout for General Miles, we do this too. Only we put in rocks. Make better. I get some. No rocks, Cincioni. And you were never a scout for General Miles. <laughs> that is right. That was my brother. Your cousin. We were both raised together. Should have rocks in the bomb. And then I sneak up like quiet shadow. Light fuse, and then throw bomb through window. Did you ever hear of a noisy shadow, Travis? Just since you only here. I was raised in St. Louis, and we always thought Indians were grim and silent. Grim? Never laughed. Nothing to laugh about. But I laugh anyhow. <laughs> And you talk anyhow. You got a leather thong or a piece of rope? Why no, Ra? Because that woman's still in there, and I don't want to kill her. Something special about woman? That's what I was taught. Oh, yeah. Because white women teach white children. What about Bob? Sensioni, will you just be patient? Well, we're ready. Now, you're a deputy. You see me light the fuse and swing the bomb. If anyone comes out of the cabin before it goes off, shoot. Give your pistol a full load? Six. Watch for the signal. You're just trying to sneak out, that's all. You've been lying to me all along. Please, Juan, let me go. Yeah, I'll let you go. Sure, I will.
Mother's gun belt. <laughs> now we hang her. Please, please, I couldn't help it. Is this Walter handy? Yes. He made me come with him. I wanted to leave. Well, in that case, you'll have no trouble. All right. Captain? Oh, nothing bad. How's the leg? Fine. Doc fixed it up real good. I'll pay him a visit. Anything new? Ryan told the Santos. Bailey will be here this morning. Somebody tried to kill the mine foreman, and about a hundred miners want to string him up. The sheriff can't hold out more than another day. Travis, get cleaned up. You, Foster, and Bailey will get over to Total Santos by night. Twenty-six men who rode the Arizona Territory. 